Hey, it is your girl, the one, the only, Spicy. <laughs> I'm tripping, y'all. What's up? It is your girl, the one and only, and I'm here today with a pick a deck reading. I have three beautiful options that are sitting out in front of me. And the question that we are going to be reviewing today is why are they back and what do they want? <laughs> why are they back so if you're like me and you're dealing with this super specific situation of someone returning to your life and you're still a little unsure about why they decided to come back they might have apologized you know told you a little sign sign to get back in your good graces but you still want to know like why are you back how do you feel about me what would you want to say to me um etc so if you have any of those questions then i definitely implore you to stay tuned please make sure that you read the description box i have so much information in there about how you can contact me contact me um, if you would like a personal reading if you would like to follow me on instagram follow your girl at spicy bee soup um, on IG, every Friday, I do live general love readings, of course, on Instagram Live. And I definitely encourage um, people to come out because um, you never really know what messages could resonate with you. Um, and that's how tarot is. Like whenever you hear something is like when you should hear it, it's the exact right time. And um, surprisingly, it definitely re resonates with a lot of people. Like people hit me up and be like, yo, like you know what your live was lit like I definitely resonate with what it is that you're, that you're putting down so I definitely appreciate that as well if you would like to contribute or donate to keep my channel going then I encourage that as well your girl love donations <laughs> your girl loves gifts I do receive it's crazy because when I was younger, I never really used to know how to receive I used to feel bad for taking things when people want to give things to me but girl it's changed it's a new day um <laughs> i'm dead but yeah so let's go ahead and get into the reading you have three options in front of you um deck number one is the neo tarot with the um clear crystal quartz um and then we have deck number two this is the mystic monday tarot with the amethyst and then deck number three last but not least is the muse tarot um, accompanied with the rose quartz so pause the video if you need to um, to make your decision and just let your intu intuition guide you and choose the best deck that appeals to you so yeah make sure you go to the timestamps below and i will see you at your reading Ow. hey my deck one people my deck one people if you chose the neo tarot with the clear crystal quartz we are going to go ahead and get into your reading see um why this person <laughs> is back <laughs> what do they want why are they back what do they want Please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know which option you chose. This reading is timeless. And yeah, make sure you hit me up on Instagram. Check your girl out. I read every Friday at 8 p.m. It's a love reading on live. Um, so yeah, I love interaction. So make sure you check that out. And let's get it let's go so see what comes out we have the eight of swords we have the clarified by the four swords actually no you know what i'm not going to clarify with this deck i'm going to clarify with another deck So your person been thinking, your person been thinking, thinking, <laughs> thinking, your person been thinking, thinking, facts, they've been thinking. I admire someone who thinks. <laughs> Let's put this off to the side and I'm going to use the modern witch tarot to clarify. So we have the eight of swords and we're going to clarify that with. This one jumped, so we got to take it. 
with the moon. Four of Cups, clarified, clarifying the Four of Swords. You just make sure everything is good. All right. right it's to my liking <laughs> you're like come on girl it's to my liking it's to my liking so i had a couple cards that fell out so i'm just gonna have to honor them the sun card there your person also got the um nine of swords and then they also have the um Ace of Wands card as well. So I think your person doesn't have bad intentions as far as them coming back. Um, this is kind of one of the case. It's, this is a case of the grass wasn't greener on the other side. So I feel as though um, some general energy surrounding your person is they don't really know, especially with the Eight of Swords, they don't really know which direction to take at the moment. I feel like your person could definitely be um, kind of overwhelmed with their feelings only because I don't think they took a lot of time to be able to like heal as far as like under like as far as like examining their emotions like why do I feel this way what is making me feel this way and then getting to the heart and to the root of that matter I feel like that's something that your person really hasn't taken too much of the time to do but I definitely do get the vibes that um You know what? Because I've seen this Four of Swords right here too. I definitely do get the vibes. Um, I definitely do get the vibes that your person... Um, <laughs> yeah, like it's funny because it's like they didn't really divulge into why they feel how they feel right now. Your person, first of all, off the rip, they want to be with you. This person wants to be with you. They love you. They feel like you emotionally fulfill them. They feel happy around you. They feel as if you guys can actually legit have a family. They will want to have a family with you. Um, I just feel as though your person kind of been focused on some of the wrong things. So I get a lot of page energy, um, especially specifically page of wands, page of cups energy with your person. I just get a lot of like immature vibes as far as like, they haven't been able to really address the heart of the matter, maybe why even things went down the way it did in the past, um, with especially with them being inactive. I feel as though there was great love here between you and this person, but they didn't invest enough. Um, I feel like your person was living in some type of fear and anxiety um, as far as moving forward with you. I feel as though your person felt that they had everything that they needed so they didn't really put too much time into prioritizing this connection or even looking at oh my god like this is a great opportunity for me and even wanted to jump on that opportunity you feel what I'm trying to say I feel like your person um didn't really prioritize you they they really put you last um I feel as though they thought they had everything that they needed in their life but they still weren't happy with it you feel what I'm trying to say I feel as though your person was also very inactive. Like, your person could have um, preferred to spend more time with other people that didn't really serve their highest purpose. It's clear that, of course, this would be some type of spiritual connection between the both of y'all. And they, they feel completely delighted. And they feel as though they are, um, they feel as though with you, they can find that true commitment and emotional fulfillment that they want. But like I said, I'm getting a lot of immature page type of vibes because it's like 
they see what it is with you, but, and they have all this passion and they want to start something new with you, which is why they're back. But I don't think this person has yet addressed um, a lot of those um, fears, those anxieties, truly. I don't think they've really gotten to the root, into the heart of the matter. If anything, I feel as though your person hasn't really dated anybody or they thought they haven't really dated or had a serious connection with anybody. I felt as though they thought the grass was greener on the other side, that they could find someone that would make them feel the same ways that you make them feel. Ten of Cups clarified by the sun. I don't know who you finding out here that's going to make you feel like that. And that's just me talking to your person, whomever's on your mind. I don't know who they thought they would find, but that's something that could have also caused them some type of anxiety and, and fear as well. Is it been knowing like, yo, I'm probably never going to find anyone else like this person. You know? But for the most part, I feel as though um, this person, um, they haven't, they have so much like energy, passion and drive towards you. But I feel like they're kind of focused on the wrong things or they haven't really gotten to the root and heart of the matter. Um, I feel as though your person could just really be feeling salty that they chose another option that wasn't fulfilling to them, that didn't really give them that emotional gratification or that satisfaction um, that they got from you, that fulfillment that they got from you. You feel me? Yeah, so <laughs> I just think that they thought the grass was greener on the other side. But then they really got their feelings hurt because they ended up not really being pleased with what it is that they thought they were looking for, you know? So your person right now, there's just some type of like general boredom that I think they're they're looking at more is like, yo, like I haven't found anybody else like this person. I feel like that's what they might be a little more like stuck in paying attention to as opposed to, okay, well, why didn't I act on this person when I had the chance to? And, and those kind of fears that are surrounding that. So that's something that your person has to kind of get together um, as well. But that's just the general, general, <laughs> general, that's just a general vibe. I hope that's not a word. That's just a general, <laughs> general vibe to kind of what's going on. But yeah, your person's definitely sexually attracted to you. There's a well of emotions and feelings I think that they have towards you that they haven't yet truly been able to really explore I think they know what they want, but they just haven't addressed it. It's like someone abandoning you, not being there, and then they show up, and then it's like, well, you have a conversation with them. You're like, well, you abandoned me. You A, B, C, X, Y, Z. And then their answer is, I know I did all that, but I'm here now. And it's like, you just can't discredit and discount everything that happened in the past just because you're here now. You know, that's kind of the vibes I get from your person. I'm here now. Like... <laughs> I'm here now. And it's like, so what about you being here now? Like, what you talking about? So what about you being here now? Like, what you talking about? Like, so, <laughs> so your person, um, as far as, you know, how they feel about you, um, they got the two of wands here. So this deck acts like, it acts like an Oracle deck and a tarot deck. So sometimes I'm like, wait. What card is this? But yeah, two of wands. You got the release card. And um, also, let's get one more. This one was tripping. And then we have um, the teach card. I believe this is the Hierophant and I believe this is the devil. I believe. I believe. So um, for the most part, I feel as though um, your person could definitely be hesitant. But hesitancy was coming up anyway with that Eight of Swords. Um, there was some type of hesitancy, something that was holding this person back. But now we see that it's them. It's them and then it's also their fears, fears and anxieties. Um over the connection and being able to step towards you. But if anything, um, I wouldn't say that this person isn't passionate about you because we have the Ace of Wands as well. I just don't know if they are certain of how they're going to direct that energy. 
you know, I feel like if anything, spirit would be cautioning them to um, like just be bold to make the first move, you know, to actually put themselves out there, step out there. Um, but I feel as though they might need some type of assistance as far as like how to direct the energy um, towards like towards uh, the connection, like how to direct that passion and motivation that they might have. Um, yeah, so how um, do they feel about you? I feel as though this is more so within themselves. I feel like your person definitely wants to move towards you and they see some type of happiness. Um, but I think that they're in a place right now where they're being called to like, you know, release some of those like um, the some of the toxic energy or a lot of the codependencies or the the, the ways in um or the reasons in which for why your connection didn't move forward, their investment within the connection. Um, with that teach card, um, that lets me know that your person kind of wants to do things the right way. So you all could have had some type of unconventional um, relationship, but with the Hierophant and the Ten of Cups, what do they um, what do they want with you? How do they feel about you? Um, this person definitely wants um, a connection with you. They definitely want to to do things a little more traditional, a little more conventional, um, to do things the right way. So if you all had a friends with benefits relationship in the past, this person would want to actually ground your relationship and to make it something that's stable. Um, it's kind of what I see going on. Let me see. But if anything, I think so is more so with them. They want to release a lot of the fears and anxieties that keep them withheld from being able to actually have this ton of cups that they, they actually truly really want, you know? Um, yeah, so your person got the trust in the reverse. And this is this definitely, this is the full card. So this definitely, to me, would also let me know that there's some type of hesitancy or some type of stagnation or some type of um like digging your digging their heels into the ground i just got a mental <laughs> a visual image i guess mental image i guess of someone just digging their heels or like you know how kids are when you're just like come on let's go and then kids just want to be holding up things and i just feel as though um there is a hold up there is some type of stagnation to towards this ten of cups um that you could potentially even want with this person um, just an emotional fulfilled, emotionally fulfilled connection and relationship. It's some type of hold up, you know. It's some type of hold up. But um, this person is definitely um, they're the ones that's kind of like dragging their heels or like digging their heels into the ground, um, and and not allowing for this new cycle, this new beginning, this new path, new journey to to start. So they want something new, but I feel as though your person isn't a hundred percent um in trust and faith that you know things can um work out. Um and then you also your person got the I don't want to say this is pentacles. I don't want to say this is pentacles. Mm. I think this is this is cups, actually. This is cups. Cause that's that's this always used to trip trip me up. But yeah, I feel as though um if anything, it's more so about grounding the connection um and things not really being in their imagination and them not being able to actually daydream, but having to come to an actual decision, you know, as far as like what are we doing here? You know, what are we doing? Um, so if anything, this person is back. And I think they're back because they have a connection towards you. You make them happy. They find some type of pleasure. You guys might have like a childlike rapport between the both of y'all always cracking jokes and, you know, all of this different rah-rah stuff that people like to do. Um, <laughs> but I feel as though um, they just like being around your energy. I think that's why they're back um, and they, they love you. They they have an end in mind that they see when it comes to you. I just think this person doesn't know how to get there or they just feel a little stuck or they're not addressing the root issues. So if this person's back and you're dealing with them again, I don't know if you guys actually had that conversation 
to really be like, well, we need to address, really actually address things. You know, your person hasn't even really truly addressed things within themselves. So, mm -mm. you feel me? That's all you can say sometimes and be like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, do they love you? Yeah, they do. I just don't think they know what to do with you. But they're back. <laughs> they're back. So let's just get some Munaji cards on here and see what's going on. So it's time to take action. New moon and Aries. So yeah, spirit basically telling them like, you, you can't stay in this eight of swords energy forever. You know, I, we understand you're going through some anxiety. We're understanding that, you know, uh, there's, you're, there's some fears associated with this connection, some things that have to do with uh, your emotions and whatnot, but you're going to have to do something. That's why I felt like this person was just kind of be, being hesitant and there really wasn't legit action or really anything going on. Um, but yeah, and your person also got surrendered to the divine. Um, so they're scared. This person's scared. They're definitely fearful. They're fearful of the way things might turn out between the both of y'all. They want some type of higher commitment. They want to do things the right way. Um, I just think your person doesn't really know how. Um, but yeah, it's up to you if you want to deal with kind of like this energy. I know how I am because like I expect things to be moving. I'm like, Yo, you say you like me. Let's. Let's get this show on the road, <laughs> especially if I like you too. But I also realized that you you can't really have expectation. You can have expectations, but you can't really expect just because you're like a A to B, B to C, C to D type of person. You can't expect your partner to be like that as well. Sometimes you got to take it easy. And I also can't really control control the situation. So. Let's see what you let's see what you got. First and foremost, secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So yeah, this person could definitely be withheld within how they feel, especially with this eight of swords energy and especially with that four swords um, that's coming up as well. But yeah, they feeling you. Let me go ahead and take this card out so you see what I'm talking about. Go ahead and take this card out so you see what I'm talking about. You got the Ten of Cups, the Sun, Secret Admirer card. You also got the Hierophant. Um, and you, we also got the Ace of Wands. So if you had some doubts as far as like how this person feels, like I, I wouldn't really doubt it anymore because it's obvious that they're, um, that they do have some type of emotional feelings for you. Um, they're just stopping themselves from being able to act on it. It's really all of them. It's really them right now. It's not really you. Um, <laughs> and then with them, they also got your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow his guidance. So there you have it right there. Um, your person dreams of having, you know, this 10 of cups with you. Um, and I just think that they they're having a difficult time with you know even being able to follow their intuition being able to follow that type of advice because they're they're keeping themselves in a place of fear they're keeping themselves in a place of anxiety and it's really up to them to be able to address the root of the issue but if you wanted to know why this person came back it's because they they definitely love you they have deeper feelings for you and they would like to have a be in a um emotionally fulfilling connection with you there's just some barriers and some obstacles that are standing in their way that they have to address so i hope this pile resonated um with the deck one people i hope this pile resonated if it did not just make sure you choose another pile and i will catch you all next time all right my deck two people that chose the mystic mondays deck with the amethyst 
I am going to go ahead and start your reading right now. Deck two people, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And also make sure that you check me out on Instagram. I read every Friday at 8 p.m. General Love Readings. And if I don't, I typically will post in my story that I'm not. But for the most part, it's a regular thing every Friday at 8 p.m. So make sure you hit me up. Let's go ahead and look at why are they back and what do they want? Why is your person back? And what do they want from you? Well, damn, off the rip, we got the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> I'm dead. It just be like, well, damn. <laughs> we got the Ten of Pentacles. Excuse me. Turn that right back up, right, really quick. Get my shuffling under control. This is a newer deck. So oftentimes when it's like a new deck, sometimes the cards be stuck together or things start falling out in um, clusters of cards and it just be like, mm, let's bring it back. We have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. I'm going to go ahead and get, excuse me, y'all. Just one card. <laughs> Maybe this person wants a lot. <laughs> then we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse as well. So it's actually funny because as I like shuffle out, it's like everything is kind of the opposite of the last deck or the last um, pile. So this is definitely kind of interesting, just doing like a natural progression. But um we need some clarification cards before we go anywhere. <laughs> we need some clarification cards. Let me take a second to make sure everything is in view before I keep going. Everything's a-okay. We have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Seven of Wands. Clarifying the Eight of Swords in the reverse. We also have the Queen of Wands um, within the reverse. I'm gonna get two more cards and then we're gonna get this show on the road. Six of Wands. We ended up giving, getting um, two out of this deck. Um, Seven of Pentacles and the High Priestess. I'm just going to add them on right here. You got one extra card for this step, but it is what it is. I can't control it. I knew I wasn't going to take out them big piles, though. But it is what it is. All right. So general energy surrounding this person slash this relationship. So if you did watch the first pile, um, there's some like synchronicities as far as um, this person wanting the end all be all with you, but just not well with that deck <laughs> with those people. But um them not really knowing how to take the action like which action steps to take to move forward or to make this thing more real um i'm kind of seeing the same thing here as well which is crazy um i'm kind of seeing the same things here but i have my deck to clarify just to help bring out some additional messages but i feel as though um your person feels like they're more instead of being more reactionary i think your person right now is um finally coming to a place to where i think they see 
I feel like your person sees the value of within you as far as they see the value of their connection to you. Um, and I also see them wanting to, I feel like your person right now wants to fight for this connection um, or they're at least defending it. They're in some type of defensive mode. So they might be essentially trying to clear the way, maybe clearing out different priorities or clearing out different things that are making, um, not priorities, like responsibilities or just clearing out things that um, don't really serve them. Um, and especially clearing out things that don't really serve this connection. I think this is what your person is doing right now. I feel as though, um, I feel like you should be careful with your person right now because I feel like, just be careful with them. Like if you're communicating with this person now, now since they came back, I would be a little, um, I would just keep my eyes open because I feel like, especially with the Queen of Wands energy, whenever I see this, um, a lot of the times it makes me think about um, like the Five of Swords energy or someone who doesn't mind being manipulative or overbearing in order to get their way and especially emotionally manipulative. Um, I feel like your person might have went from one extreme to another. Um, so if you had a relationship with them in the past, I feel as though your person could have definitely been inconsistent or hot and cold or they only came around when they wanted something from you as opposed to them just being around because they want to be with you. Um, I feel like your person, yeah, I feel like they were definitely uh, manipulative or they, they came around you because they knew what it was that they wanted and, and they were very selfish. So it's very much of a selfish type of energy that I'm getting from this person as well. Um, just generally surrounding them. I feel like your person has become empowered, but it's more so of like a distorted empowerment vibe. Um, so they could be feeling at times elitist, um, just feeling like they're better than people. It's like after they came out of the healing that they needed, maybe it was some type of healing period that they went through. They came out of that healing and then they came out and was like, oh, woo woo, like, oh, well, you have to follow this set of spiritual practices to get to where I am or it's just some type of elitist vibe and some type of like selfish stingy very individualistic vibe that I get from your person just from this these cards that are out here but I also feel um just in terms of I don't know it just feels very it feels very like stingy selfish self-serving and I feel as though um, your person might be a little more empowered than that individual that I refer to in the, hy in the hypothetical <laughs> individual that I refer to in deck number one. But I feel as though this is more so of, I feel like this is more so of like a distorted type of vibe where it's like this person just, it's kind of stingy, individualistic. They feel empowered, but they're also really manipulative um, as well. Um, I feel like your person is very, for some reason, I'm getting more so of like a competitive vibe. Like they want to be the, the last person standing or they want to be like the best man or the best woman. Like I feel like your person is also a competitor. So if you was in a relationship with them in the past, they might have tried to compete with you. They might have tried to one up you. Um, they might have, I felt like, only really truly been concerned with their needs and making sure that they came out on top um, at the end. And I felt like they might have just gave you like little crumbs here and there, you know, what I'm trying to say to kind of just keep you there. But I feel like this person was very much so thinking about themselves. They was just stingy and selfish as hell. I don't know. I'm kind of getting that vibe from them but I will give it to your person they are someone who is um, contemplative they are someone who has the ability to be uh, cognizant aware and to think um, so I'll give it to them as well I'll give it to them but I also feel like your person might be more so concerned with like 
win or lose like that win or lose type of attitude i'm just getting a real like five of swords type of vibe even though i don't see it here it's just like this win or lose attitude like doing what you need by all costs to get what you want that type of vibe um and i feel like failure might not be an option for your person like it's just kind of like a competitive type of nature where it's like i have to win at all costs failure is not an option um I don't know. It's just a real kind of stingy vibe I'm getting from this person. Like, if you was in a relationship with this person, like, let me know in the comments because they seem to be kind of stingy. Um, and I feel like that's how they carried on the relationship with y'all. It was just really concerned with them. So that's kind of the vibe that I really get with this person. Um, let me just get some more, some more clarifiers. Yeah, I feel like, um, yeah, <laughs> your person got the two of pentacles also. Um, and let me get one more. Oh, that's the two of pentacles in reverse, mind you. So for some reason, I feel like they didn't really invest as much as they could have into this connection. They thought that their investment was enough, but it wasn't. Um, <laughs> I feel like they, they, they really... It's just an elitist type of vibe. It's like someone giving you what they think you should have, but not necessarily what you actually truly need. And that's the vibe that I'm kind of getting from them. Um, so they also got the page of wands um, as well. Um, so you all could have definitely, this could have definitely be like a charismatic, uh, this could def definitely be a charismatic or risk taker um, type of person that, that's embodying this type of energy. But I'm also getting that um, for some for some reason, I feel like your relationship wasn't really grounded. I think that this person knew what they wanted. They knew they wanted they wanted a ten of pentacles, but I don't they knew they wanted a ten of pentacles type of relationship. They wanted something that was grounded, something that would last for generations. They wanted to they want to have some type of intergenerational wealth or something so i feel like your person knows what they want in the end but it's something about the way that they go about getting what they want that's kind of weird to me it's kind of weird it's more so about competition and being being the last person standing as opposed to like let me actually ground this connection let me actually look at things for what they are and then make decisions based off of that not to say that this person isn't an intuitive person, not to say that um, they don't that they don't have some type of higher guidance that's there and that's available to them. But I just feel as though like they didn't really apply that as far as within the lens of, of y'all connection. You know, what I'm trying to say so it's like someone knowing it, for some reason I'm getting a vibe of like it's like. Not to say that you was with this person, engaged to this person for years, but I just kind of get the vibe that you was like engaged to this person for years and people kept telling them like, oh, you need to ground this relationship. You need to get married to this person now. You need to go ahead and do that. You know what I'm trying to say? Like set up a stable life, do what you need to do. Be, be a good partner to this person. Like I feel as though people kept telling them that, but for some reason, this person wasn't applying that advice to the actual situation at hand. So there's some type of like, I feel like this person in a sense is impractical. They don't just practically apply, you know, things as they should, you know? Yeah, I just don't get the vibe that your person is really practical, but um, let's just move on. <laughs> let's move on uh let's move on <laughs> let's get into um their feelings and what they want and what they would tell you mm -hmm. all right so we have the um the three of wands and um, it came up in the reverse. Let's go ahead and get two more cards.
we have the ace of wands coming out we also have um the rebuild card um coming out as well so um how they feel about you you know what i can't deny the fact that this person definitely isn't really sexual like i feel like they're very sexually attracted to you i feel like um how they feel about you is is they're just attracted and they have some type of real actual passion towards you um i just feel, i feel like this person kind of wants to beat out any other like competitor competitors that might you know be trying to vie for your attention but for some reason i'm not getting a serious type of vibe like like this person is back to really make some type of changes you know what i'm trying to say to really advance the connection now we also have the rebuild card here as well which would signify like okay maybe this person potentially would want to rebuild this connection um but i feel like this is more so of them dealing with um I feel like this is more so with themselves or them dealing with some type of um, tire moment or some type of unexpected change um, within this connection. I feel like it was more so like you, I feel like you actually really loved and cared about this person, but I feel like they were really actually narcissistic, very narcissistic, only thinking about themselves. And if they thought about you, it was only because you were giving them something that they could benefit off of, but not like them just looking at you without any expectations of you having, you know, to give to them and them just purely just loving you for who you are. I think it was more so based on what you could do for them, you know, but this person, I feel as though like they definitely do love you. They do care about you, but I also feel like it's very, it's just a nar narcissistic type of vibe about them because there's real there's real withholding that they did in the past um or just not investing enough and so i feel like now um they're being called to you know um actually to not wait i feel like they're being called to make the first move they're being called to approach you um but I also feel as though this person still has more work to do. Um, that's why I'm like, yo, is this like pile one again? Like, I feel like this person has a little bit more work to do um, to actually be able to bring, like, I feel like your person got an elitist type of mindset too. So it's actual work and changes that have to happen for them to actually be able to meet you on that like grounded, practical level to where actual change can be made to where actual an actual relationship can be built you know so let me get two more cards um from the psychic tarot deck and we will see we will see so um your person also got the four of swords um which is just breathe um so they could definitely be going in um trying to um rest and meditate and to um, also reconsider some things as well um just as far as their contribution towards the connection um so if you are communicating, this typically is like a non-communicative card, but you, if you are communicating with this person, they're definitely um, not letting their, I mean, of course you're here at a tarot card reading, but they're definitely withholding a lot of, um, a lot of information. Um, and especially with the high priestess right here, that lets me know that there's definitely some things in secret, some mysterious vibes and things that you, you clearly are not a hundred percent aware of. Um, it could be that this person is going through some type of um, transformation. Maybe things are really hard on this person in which like their foundation of being um, the way that they've always been, which might be really selfish, stingy, narcissistic, elitist. Like maybe they're going through some type of 
transformation right now that's causing them to have to see the situation differently, causing them to actually have to not put their selfish needs first and to actually put forth what is best for the connection between the both of y'all. Um, and you also um, got the, this is the three of, three of, I feel like this is the three of cups here. Three of cups. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like pointing the car as if it's going to tell me, but yeah, I always used to think this was like the three of pentacles, but it's not, it's the three of cups in this deck. So this person, um, three of cups could stand for a reconciliation as well, especially a reconciliation after a period of no communication. I feel like, um, I think this person, like, I'm not going to try to play you and be like, oh, they don't care. I think they do care about you, um, especially be with them being back. And if anything, um, they will want to be able to give back to you as you have given to them. But they also have to um, address and could definitely be addressing that being that way of being about them that didn't really make the connection work, like I said. Um, let's get some Moonology cards and let's see what else we can get onto this. But your person is just, I feel like they, they dealing with like a Peter Pan syndrome where it's like, they actually have to grow up and actually have to consider other people um, as well, other people's needs. You know, you can't just be concerned with taking, 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 receiving, 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 and you have, and there's no reciprocation. You know, now this person, they're not really bound by too many fears. That's the thing about it. I just think they have to change the lens in which they're approaching relationships and in, in which they approach you um, and know that they can't they can't be selfish. They can't be stingy. They can't be narcissistic if they intend on having something mutual, you know, um, and they have to be able to ground things and be practical and actually work like work at it. What are the action steps? What are the plans? Like, what are we doing? You know, what are we doing? Um, so your person also got look at the bigger picture. So I feel like I just said they have to change their um, perspective or the way that they see things. But yeah, your person is definitely being called to um, look at things from a macro perspective, not just to look at, you know, the the different um, basically being called to not just look at like only like what they get out of things or only looking at their investment, but to, but well, only looking at like what you're doing, but to actually look at things from a, a different perspective. So I don't know your person just being called to look at the situation differently, you know, to po possibly address those things within themselves. Typically selfish and narcissistic people, they don't see anything wrong with their behavior. They just kind of see it as like, oh, it's other people. It's what they're doing. It's not really what they're doing. You know what I'm trying to say? They're not really focused on what they do. They're focused on other people. So it's calling for them to, to not, to not um, do that. But your person also got luck is on your side. More Sagittarius energy as well. This person could be a Sagittarius. I'm going to get one more. But I feel like this is more so saying that like if they address you know, their contribution and investment towards things that they would be um, more, they would just be in a better position to be able to be successful when it comes to you. Because this person, like, they concern with competition. They concern with being the, the last man, the last woman standing. That's what they're concerned with, you know? I think that this situation just presents them with a little, like, they're just not sure, you know? But yeah, um, this person also got um, have faith in have faith in your dreams. So um, I think that this person does want something more with you, especially with that ten of pentacles. And they're they're more so in a position where they're going to be willing to give. Um, I just think it's within them being able to address, you know, why they don't 
invest or what's holding them back from doing so or why they feel like they don't need to invest or why they feel as though other people should constantly be investing and they don't have to put any work in. You feel me? How you a competitive person, but you don't want to put any work in? Your person lazy? I don't know. That's why I felt like they just kind of selfish, stingy, and kind of elitist. <laughs> but <laughs> that's funny because the one card that turned up was only time will tell. So this situation might still definitely be on the rocks. I feel like <laughs> we just we just not going to know. Like, <laughs> let me know what pans out with you and this person. But if you thought, oh, yeah, this person might... Um, I don't, I don't know what they want with me. I don't know what they want. Like, this is basically just telling you only time will tell. Like, the situation still got to pan out. You still got to give it some time. But it seemed like this person could be dealing with some type of, like, ego death or something. Because um, they also have the transformation card. Um, so, your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. So, if the love is there, I can definitely say that especially with this person. I don't know if it's any work left that you particularly have to do, but this person has some work to do on their ego. And I feel like this is just saying like, if the love is there, then, you know, the situation is going to change, especially with this tower card right here. You know, um, let me bring this back up. But it seems as though like divine is going to really be working on this person. Whenever I see lightning, that makes me think about power. It makes me think about like, legit raw actual energy coming in to shake something up and i feel like there's some work that this person has to do on their heart on their heart chakra um which affects how they see other people which affects how much they give to other people and um that's something that this person wants to address as well you know they they haven't been super um giving to you in the past um and it's something that they potentially could want to do right now um and it's funny because this person could, like I said, it was definitely selfish, stingy, narcissistic, all about themselves, but they so worried about you, which is funny. It's funny. Like they are so worried about you, you know? So like, th like this car says, only time will tell, you know, it seems like this person, um, wants to be able to have something deeper with you. Um, I just think it's something that's going to pan out and it's something that's going to like have to take some time. But if you want to stick around and wait and see, um, that's completely up to you to do so. There is a way to go about waiting. <laughs> There's a way to go about it, which is you live your life. But <laughs> as it's as it's happening. But um, for the most part, I hope this um, pile resonated um with you as far as what this person wants and i hope to catch you next time all right my deck three people last but not least y'all don't know how many times i try to film this video like <laughs> this is probably like my take three um so my deck, <laughs> my deck three people um we're going to be looking at why are they back and what do they want. Make sure you check me out on Instagram. I read every Friday at 8 p.m. General love reading. If anything is going on with me and I don't read on a Friday, I will definitely let you know because I do have people that, you know, actually want to see what's going on. They, they actually tune in. So make sure that you tune in. Follow me on Instagram. And then also like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the in the um in the comments which pile um you chose. Um, so this card um <laughs> this is actually the King of Pentacles. So I have to turn it this way because they printed it that way. <laughs> well, let me turn it like this, just just for purposes of fitting all my cards into view. I'm I'm gonna just turn it like that. But yeah, you got the Ten of Swords. You got the King of Pentacles. Um, you also have the Nine of Wands in the reverse. Nine of Inspiration in this deck. Um, let's go ahead and get some clarifying cards. 
and we will keep it pushing we will keep it moving i hope everyone is well i hope everyone is doing well everyone is staying safe We have the Empress, so that's the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Empress. We also had another card turn up, the Hierophant in the reverse. That is clarifying the King of Pentacles. Sorry, you guys. I really only shuffle my deck this way because I never want to like bend my cards or mess up um, my nails. So I just shuffle this way. But let's go ahead and get one more clarifier and then we're going to keep it moving. Double in reverse. Double in reverse. All right. One sec. Give me one second, guys. I got to organize my decks back again. All right. So immediately off the rip, what I see, general energy surrounding this person, person and the relationship. So... It's one of two things that I'm seeing here. Okay, so I'm definitely seeing um, an, some more lack of, <laughs> some more. <laughs> I'm definitely seeing more of um, hesitancy, more lack of guidance. Um, I feel like this could also be some more misdirected energy as far as, and the only reason why I'm saying some more is because I had two other previous decks and a lot of the decks tend to build off of each other or tend to uh, interlap. So for the most part, I'm just seeing some more hesitancy. I feel as though um, your person might be experiencing some trust issues. So I feel as though they could have gotten into another relationship after dealing with you. Um, or whatever you guys had with each other. I feel like they've gotten into another relationship that really, um, it really hurt them. I feel as though your person had to learn some type of karmic lesson, had to address some um, issues, some challenges that they experienced um, while you know, connecting with you, whether this be a friends with benefits, whether it be a friendship, whether it be a relationship, but this is mostly in terms of intimate relationships. So I feel as though they had to, it was just, it just had to happen. They had to experience karmic lessons with someone else. So basically your person got their feelings hurt with another individual. They got their feelings hurt. So as far as them getting their feelings hurt, it's like your person knows that they want to be able to invest into this connection. They want to be able to work um, towards this connection. I feel like they, um, I feel like your person could also be creative. So I feel as though they're thinking of different creative ideas or different ways in which they could step to you to have the best result, to, to have the best result as possible, the best outcome as possible. But I also don't think that um, your person right now, like their primary aim as far as within them coming back is just to immediately jump into a relationship with you. I feel as though if they were to have anything with you right now, it would probably just be a continuation of a friends with benefits type of thing. Because I see that your person is very focused on um, like bread they're very bread when i say bread that means more money so they're just focused on um getting more money together they're focused on trying to make themselves like an end as an individual person trying to make themselves as stable as possible making sure that they have all that they need addressing you know their root chakra um just overall feelings of safety and stability. I think that's what your person is working on. And I think they understand that it requires them having to step outside of themselves to do something that they've never done before. 
as far as within love, your person definitely got their feelings hurt. So as affirmed and as independent minded and as strong as they look, your person has some trust issues that they're still trying to work through. These trust issues are what's kind of holding them back from being able to fully present themselves to you as a potential partner. You know what I'm trying to say? As someone who's in the running. You feel what I'm trying to say? I feel like your person isn't really trying to, I don't know. I don't know if it's intimidation or if they feel as though they just have no chance with you. You know what I'm trying to say? Your person, like, inherently, they feel as if they have no chance. Like, now, I think the reason, I feel like the energy or whatever it is within them that's making them feel like they don't have a chance with you or making them feel as though you are too good for them, they've definitely put you on a pedestal. Your person has definitely put put you on a pedestal. And the thing is, is like, they are good enough. That's the thing. Is like your person is good enough. Like they are good enough. Like your person can rise to the occasion to meet you. They can. They can. They can. They can. Like I'm definitely getting these vibes. Is like the potential is there. Like you know how like people tend to fall in love with people's potential. You know what I'm trying to say? Like who they think they could be. And it's like this person is all of that like your, this person here is really all of that in a bag of chips I just feel like they had to leave to be able to learn these lessons these karmic lessons whatever it is that they had to learn whatever it is that had them coming back with their feelings with their feelings hurt like <laughs> they got their heart broken by somebody you know but I feel as though them getting their heart broken, in a sense, it kind of like made them withdraw back into themselves. And it's making them have to, to learn that like they are good enough, that they do deserve more. Like if they put themselves first and focus on their self-love, um, then they, they essentially have all they need and they can rise to meet you at the level in which you're at. You feel what I'm saying? They can rise to do so. Like your person has done a lot of releasing. They've definitely um, were put in a place to where they had to learn these karmic lessons. And I feel like they have. I just don't think that your person feels like they're good enough for you. Um, I feel like your person thinks that it's over between the both of y'all. So maybe they feel as though you won't accept them back. Um, but the thing is, is like they are good enough. That's the crazy thing about it. And if they put their mind to it, they can accomplish whatever it is that they want. Like, that's the crazy thing about it. Um, but yeah, I feel as though your person just didn't rise to meet to the occasion to meet you in the past, like where they should have. So you guys vibrationally could have just not been a match at that point in time. They had to go off, deal with some other type of situation and then come back. But even as they have came back, like I said, I still feel like they don't feel like they're good enough. And because they don't feel like they're good enough, they're not able to actually ground this connection um, between the both of y'all. They're not able to have that higher level of, of commitment that they actually are capable of. So I feel like your person is just really solo dolo right now. Um, but I don't know. Let me get some more cards because they're definitely still there is some type of energy yeah, they're definitely still attracted to your energy. Come like, it's definitely some type of energy that they're still attracted to when it when it comes to you. And I was gonna put something down on the Empress, and I ended up getting the Queen of Pentacles. So your person sees you. This is a this, essentially it's a couple because it's the King of Pentacles right here, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles. I'm just gonna put her over here next to the Empress, but. Your person sees you as, I feel like they see you as someone that um, they want, I feel like they want to be with you. I feel like they could see themselves having a family with you. I feel like they definitely honor that divinity within you. Um, you you're coming up as the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. Like, that's a lot of, <laughs> like, that's like, if you embody um, the feminine energy, this is like femininity in this rawest form, you know? So the person that you're dealing with could definitely have could definitely be in that masculine energy, despite if it's a woman or a man. It's just the energy that they embody, you know, 
and masculinity is going to attract femininity and femininity is going to attract masculinity you know being in that raw power and operating within that power that's you know i'm trying to say that's that's going to be attractive to look i'm attract <laughs> you know what i'm trying to say like that's going to be attractive to the other person especially if they embody that energy as well it just creates a nice balance so for example me i'm a feminine woman and so i'm attracted to a masculine male um and because we both embody those two separate energies as as we come together it's balanced you know and it just works you feel me i've i've often realized that relationships with people it's not even so much about what that person could have done um, for you, but it's also just about the vibrational match within itself. Like, are we actually a match? Are we actually compatible? You know, and this person is kind of down talking themselves or feeling as though they're not compatible with you or they can't rise to the occasion to have the relationship that they want. Um, but they can. They can. Like, they can. This person is also um, coming up as well as the star within the reverse. So I feel as they they lack some type of faith or trust that like if they invested, that they could really have what it is that they wanted with you, you know? So your person, they, they do want something more with you. Um, They definitely do. But I feel as though they just don't think that they're good enough. They don't feel as though, as though they're good enough. It's sad sometimes because it's like you just want to pick this person up and be like, you are good enough. You learned those lessons. You just got to have more faith in, in yourself and in what you could do. But you can't do that to people. Like people have to realize on their own. You feel me? But it's like you just want to pick this person up and just be like, you could do this. Like, you know, you can do it. But let's go ahead and get some more cards. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get some more cards. So it's not even a question as if, if your person feels you or not. They know who you are. They know exactly who you are. It's just up to them being able to um, feel as though feel as though um, they have what it takes, you know, and putting themselves out there. So um, <laughs> here we have the solar plexus chakra card that came up. Um, like I said, your person um could definitely be experiencing some um issues and difficulties when it comes to having a closed up solar plexus um chakra to having it blocked i said closed up <laughs> to having it blocked because they're lacking the real self-esteem and the real um confidence to actually go after what it is that they want um now your person also got the heel card and it is true that your person um that your person it was dealing with they were dealing with the super, uh, super karmic lessons or just things that actually broke them, like things that maybe even forced them to go through that dark night of the soul. But as you can see here, um, with the devil in reverse, um, signifying release. And then you see here um, that this man here is like he literally broke the chains of the things that kept him um, guarded or that kept him in one place. You know, and I don't know, for some reason, I kind of thought that that was a sword, but I'm just going to go ahead and say what I wanted to say anyway, is because it's like this person had to come to some type of mental clarity um, of the situation. You know, what I'm trying to say they had to come to some type of um, clarity. So this reminds me of like an ace of swords. That's why I was like, I feel like that looked like a sword, but it's not. It's just a glimmer of hope. <laughs> But yeah, um, I did mention earlier that your person um, was working on their root chakra and stability. Um, I feel like this person has more of a better foundation as far as to them and to their being. Um, but yeah, when it comes to you, um, how they feel is, is they definitely might be having some self-esteem um, and confidence issues with being able to like step to you and being able to feel like they have what it takes, like I said, um, to be with you. But Let's see what else we can get. Manifest. Um, so your person also got the um, magician 
in reverse card. Typically, when I see the magician in reverse, that lets me know like somebody's pretending, somebody's being deceptive, or somebody's acting. But I'm gonna just take it as it as it says because I feel like your person has some self esteem and confidence issues as it comes to them being able to um, manifest what it is that they want. Maybe they feel as though, like I said, they don't they don't know what to do or they don't have the right things or they're not good enough. Um, but it's kind of like they have all it is that they need, you know? So it's, de it's definitely obvious that this person wants to um, be with you. It's definitely obvious. It, it is. It's obvious that they do. It's obvious because I have a couple here. It's obvious that they, they see you as someone that they can build a happy home with. Like, I could see that as well. But they just don't feel... <laughs> <laughs> they don't they lack the confidence to be able to do so um would they tell you that i don't know because people always want to seem as though they have everything under control and it's like it's only so much that you can have under control you know and I am 100% dead. Because remember how I was like, I feel like this is a sword. Now we have the Ace of Swords right here. So, um, yeah, this person is definitely experiencing um, not a bad upheaval. But they're able to see things clearly um, for what it is. And this is truly what's going to help them be able to transform the situation. So your person will probably tell you, like, you know, they're gaining some type of new insight. Um you know, over the connection, over what what you have. But I also feel as though they might not tell you that they don't feel good enough for you, you know? But that's what I'm going to tell you because that's how this person feels. What would they tell you? They don't feel good enough. They don't feel good enough. Um, and then we also have, um, take the lead. So this person might also just be kind of waiting for things to, to work out or, um, to pan out, um, between the both of you all. I like these Oracle cards because it's just kind of like spirit is saying like, you know, you have to, to take the first step. Like you have to be bold, take the first step. So I just feel as though like they're just, They're just tripping. They're tripping, honestly. They're tripping. I feel like they're the ones telling themselves that there's no there's no um, going back or something or that you wouldn't take them back. Or They're the ones that are telling themselves that. They feel as though this connection is just like, at the end, between the both of y'all, you wouldn't want them back. But if anything, um, yeah, this person, yeah, I feel like they also put you on a pedestal as well. Um, which is what is severely getting in the way of them being able to step to you because they feel like you're too good for them. Um, but yeah, they do see something a little more serious um, between the both of y'all. Um, they 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 also see you as someone that they could get money with, like as a viable business partner. Um, I'm really getting Three of Pentacles energy and vibes right now, even though the Three of Pentacles didn't come up. But they could see you as the person that they could work with. Like you're a good partner. You're someone who would be good at compromise. You're someone who would be good at actually building a foundation. Because um, I feel like they have spent a lot of time building up their foundation through their wounds, um, through the hurts, through the karmic, karmic situation that they went through in the past. Mind you, your person's feelings still hurt right now. But they're a little hesitant to step towards you because they have some type of trust issue. Um but I feel as though, let's get some more cards. Let's get some more cards before I even wrap it up or have a conclusion. You feel me? If you love this person and you want to be with them, I, in, in my opinion, I would just play it cool. Don't try to get on your like high horse like oh let me just heal this person because now i know they want me but they just know they don't feel good about me like not feel good about you but they don't feel good about themselves to be with you you know what i'm trying to say they don't feel good enough and that's not your place to try to make someone feel good enough to be with you it's like either you're going to step it up and even if you don't know what to do step it up like and let's let's take things a step at a time or are you just going to be sitting there feeling like 
you're not good enough and you'll never know you know so um your person got don't let your past hold you back um and like i said it's the trust issues that are causing them to be hesitant um, which isn't allowing the trust issues from the karma situation that they dealt with in the past isn't allowing them to fully be able to step to you or to be like, you know what, I'm a, I'm your potential, like not I'm your potential, but I'm your perspective. Like I'm your perspective partner. You know, I'm trying to say I'm in the running, you know, it's really causing, it's really, it's really, um, holding them back from being able to actually pursue you or to actually ground ground any type of of relationship they're just they're just completely held back and they just don't feel like they're good enough for you but your person did a lot of work though they did a lot of healing work you know they've really done well for themselves you know everybody deserves to feel, heal everybody has the right to um to heal and to to evolve and to grow but they just a little hesitant based on based off of the trust issues that they've had you know sorry y'all i had a couple different cards um flip over um but this is the one that came out your commitment is being tested so um basically the commitment to the connection as far as like uh this person being able to work on it this person being able to put in the time being able to put in the dedication and being able to put in the focus to have the outcome um, that they want, actually working on this connection. So that's being tested. It's like, what are you what are you going to do? Are you going to continue to stay in the same energy that you're in? Or are you going to try and put in some type of uh, motivation? I just think this person doesn't really have too much, um, you know, trust and faith um, that they can make this happen. I don't know why because they've they've spent a lot of time making other things happen for themselves. So why don't you just apply the same motivation, logic, thinking, <laughs> rationality to a different situation? You feel me? Um, but yeah, it's time to release negativity. So um, for the most part, this is just really cautioning your person to um, continue to... Um, release like the toxic uh karmic cycles um from the past i feel like whatever they um did dealing with you within the relationship from the past whatever they did i feel like like i said they had to go off with someone else and they had to experience that same thing you know they had to experience getting their feelings hurt to be able to release whatever negative pattern or whatever um, thing that they were doing that didn't really help your connection move forward in the past. So it's really time for them to release. Um, they've learned the lessons that they needed to learn. And it's really time for them to um, step it up um, and to change their perspective and um, see things completely different and to understand that like what happened in the past is done in the past. You feel me? What happened in the past, it happened, it's done now it's time for me to to garner some type of faith and trust in my own abilities you feel me oh i don't know for some reason it's cautioning me to get another one another card <laughs> so we'll see before we end this it's cautioning me to get another card okay a win-win outcome is forecast so it's unfortunate that this person is kind of um, being really like hesitant and withdrawn um, about things, but it is showing like, yo, it's showing that like the odds are truly actually in their favor if they are able to step out of this energy and to garner some more faith and trust in themselves that they can manifest this connection. Like if they do so actually put in the legit work, it, it's showing that like most likely you're going to say yes. And who's not going to say yes to someone who's giving them consistent energy, like consistent, um, who's putting in consistent effort. You know what I'm trying to say? Who's going to say no? Who's going to say no to that? Someone who's consistently working on a connection and whatnot. But it's really up to them to work on it. 
um, and to have the, the commitment um, relationship that they want, you know, it's really just up to them. But yes, they do want a relationship with you right now. I don't see um, it happening right now because I feel like it's dependent on this person ha garnering a little more faith and trust in their abilities to make things work between the both of you all. Um, how do they feel about you? They definitely see you as beautiful. They see you as attractive. They see you as someone who's determined, someone who's charismatic, someone who goes out into the world and does exactly what you say you're going to do. And that's probably why, um, that's probably why they felt, I feel like they felt inspired by you too. And that's why they went out and did what they had to do, but they really ain't had no options because there was a separation. They really ain't have no option, you know? So I feel like unbeknownst to them through that heartbreak and through the karma cycle and situation that they dealt with, with whatever partner or whatever situation, like they didn't understand that that was going to elevate them even more. So, I mean, everything happens for a reason. I think this person um, was able to um, increase their uh, vibrational energies to be able to meet you to the level at where you're at right now. I feel like they've, they needed to go off to be able to learn those lessons so that they can do so. You know, um, I just think right now you they just, they still put you on a pedestal, you know, um, they still put you on a pedestal, but yeah, they are coming back, um, to have something a little more grounded. I just think that it's going to take them some time to, like I said, gain the trust and the faith that they can actually establish this connection. But for right now, um, I, I still don't see anything like grounded, but you ain't come to ask about that. You just wanted to know why they back. <laughs> I mean, you could give this, this person some time. Um. <laughs> That's funny. The cars say, wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So um, this person is definitely going to be moving slowly because they still have to gain some type of self-esteem and confidence, especially with that um, solar plexus chakra card. Um, <laughs> so this could even be cautioning. This could be cautioning you to wait for this person. Um I feel like you might be a little impatient like me. You like, well, I can't help you gain self-esteem. Either you're going to rise to the occasion or not. Like, <laughs> um, but what can you say? Um, yeah, so time. You, um, This person also got, you're trying too hard. Give it time. So this situation could potentially just have to take time. You know, maybe they have to actually truly feel that, they can manifest the connection. Maybe they actually have to truly feel good about themselves, you know? And in my opinion, you don't really want to deal with someone, especially if you're very um, coming up as the empress, coming up as the queen of pentacles. You don't want to deal with someone who has issues with their um, solar plexus as an empress. Like you want to deal with someone who is affirmed, completely affirmed in who they are because that's how you're showing up. You're affirmed and you're stable in who you are. Now... Let's just hope and pray that this person is able to <laughs> transfer the knowledge that they had while they were over here establishing themselves with the King of Pentacles energy. And they could just transfer that knowledge into um, into a romantic connection with you. Let's just hope. But anyway, I'm being called to take another one of these um, love oracle cards. I always say the heart-shaped oracle cards, but... I'm being drawn to take another one. So let me just see which one comes out. I don't know. This card been showing up a lot. So I'm going to take it. <laughs> you know when a card just keep jumping and jumping out the pile and it's like, you know what? Let me just take it. Um, healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So this is a very, this is a very, you know, it's positive, you know, because you kind of don't know like what's going to happen between you and this person. 
but it's definitely positive. It, it just lets me know that like, you know, there's definitely been some individual healing going on and your person has actually went through that healing period as well. And healing is consistent, you know, but as far as like the dark night of the soul, like once you go through that, John, it's like, all right, never again. It's like once you're awakened, you're awakened. You cannot go back to sleep. You feel what I'm trying to say? So if anything, like I said, just, you know, pray for this person, you know, that they are able to feel better about themselves. But like I said, you can't make someone feel like they're good enough to be with you. It's like you got to embody that vibe. You know what I'm trying to say? You can't make someone feel that way. They have to feel that way naturally and step up. When you're dealing with an empress, you can't come. Like I said, you can't step up to an empress having issues with your solar plexus chakra. Like that's not going to work. It's going to be very incompatible. So just give it some time, I guess. Um, the cards could definitely be cautioning for you to wait, but it's really up to you to do whatever um, you want to do. But this person, um, you might feel as though they're just kind of lingering around. Like, what are they doing? Why are they back? But yeah, they do see something more with you. They do want something more. I just feel like, like I've said plenty of times, it's really up to them to feel as though they can do it to feel as though they can have the relationship that they want with you. They, they put you on a pedestal for real. And why not? You an empress. But sit on that pedestal. You feel me? But yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope I was able to answer some questions that you had just to give you a little bit much more clarity. Um, and I hope to see you at my next reading. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe make sure to hit me up on instagram and i will catch you another time see ya